Good morning. We're here on this grey Monday morning. It's the 25th of February and it's about 11am. Um, as you can see behind me, the county hall and lots of people in navy t-shirts. here for the Marine Conservation Society's 127 Marine Conservation Zone Rally. So we'll be walking on Westminster at about noon. Um, there's a pretty good turnout behind us. I'm sure more people will turn up as the morning goes along. Global Ocean has actually supported the Marine Conservation Society in terms of giving money to their sea search program. And so we're here now to support them and hopefully speak to some people about this wonderful cause and see how the day goes. We're also here with Sam Hewitt from Sea Urchins and she's just going to tell us a little bit about Sea Urchins and why she's here. Okay, so Sea Urchins is a magazine um, for kids all about the ocean. It's all about inspiring them um, to love the ocean, to love nature, with like amazing imagery, and then to teach them about important things like conservation in a really fun, positive way. Plastic pollution is obviously a really big problem at the moment, and it is not getting enough press yet. With sea urchins, it is for the kids, so rather than telling them about uh, the harsh realities, it's just about teaching them how they can help. And how do you think uh, the MCS would benefit from this rally in terms of their MCZ? Well, the good thing is always just about generating interest um, and press and getting the word out there, really. What do we want? When do we want it? Now! About 30 years ago, we had legislation which was meant to protect the land and the sea, called the Wildlife and Countryside Act. It failed in the sea. We only got three protected areas. The sea's enormous. Um, we have so much continental shelf in our seas. If we don't protect that as we do on the land, um, we're going to continue to have declining fisheries. So um, not only declining fisheries, but declining habitats. So it's vital for recovering our habitats and our seas. I think we're all here today because we believe in the sea. And we believe, we know that it has an incredible power to enhance our lives. But I'm not here because I like diving or I like fishing or I like going to the beach. Although I do love all those things. I'm here for one reason above all others and I think we need to focus on this today. I'm here because I love eating fish. It's a fantastic food. I love to eat it and I love to cook it and feed it to my family and my friends in the knowledge that it's a pure, wholesome, and delicious food. We're a small marine conservation charity who are trying to be the voice of plastic pollution. I just wanted to ask you what your observations have been on the extent of plastic debris doing your work. Sure. Well, I've been on, on, on boats during making this uh, recent series all over the world. And I'm sorry to say that, that, yes, I have seen plastics coming up in trawlers. It's a problem all over the world. It's particularly bad in our tropical seas. Um, and uh, it's great that there are people such as yourself taking action and, and, and trying to, to stop this happening. Can you tell us about the plastic pollution as you see it? I see it as um, a colossal problem really for us all. Um, just kind of on a purely observational basis, you can just see plastic pollution everywhere you go, every beach. Well, we've been finding in surveys that have been done by volunteers around the coast for the last decade or more, that the amount of material washing up on shores is rising and the quantity that is in fact plastic rather than any other material is growing all the time. So we're back in the office following a very successful rally on Westminster. There were more than 2,000 people involved, but now it's your turn. There's about 25 days left to sign up to the Fish Fight campaign. At the moment, only 0.001% of the British Oceans are protected. However, with 127 marine conservation zones, we could go up to 27%. So please, go onto the Fish Fight website, sign the petition, and get your letter to that government. We need to save our seas.